All right, day two, we're getting ready. Look at these footers. Unbelievable footers. You should hire Bothoff Construction if you need footers <laughs> or anything else built. We're the footer, king, footer kings. <laughs> um, so, uh, Gary and Steven just got the chop saw set up and we are going to be doing all these brackets. Yes. And a post bunch brackets. of uh, post brackets and a bunch of 4x4 four four posts are where we're starting today. We bought a laser and now we need to learn how to use it. So beat, beat, beat means you're close, and fast beat means you're right on it. All right, we've kind of got the laser figured out. All right, so Steven is checking. We need to find out for certain which footer is the highest on this site, because that will have the shortest post. And so that'll be the one we start with the height of that post, and that'll set the height for everything else on the, uh, every other footer. All right. So Steven used the laser level and we determined that this is the highest point of all the footers at this exact location where it will receive the post. This is the highest one. And Gare and I talked through, um, we're going to have a minimum of an 18 inch clearance from our 4x6 cross beam as a crawl space under it. And so that means this spot only needs a little uh, 6 inch 4x4 post here. And we'll use the laser level to make sure every other 4x4 post is level with this one. And that'll mean down there at the bottom, that post, what did we say, 22 inches long? 28 uh, inches long? 22 inch post. A 22 inch post, almost a two foot post over there versus a six inch post over here. So from high point to low point, we've there got right. a, what's that, six inch versus 22, 16 inch difference. So Gare is running string along the edge of each bracket so that when he bolts them down we've got a perfectly straight line to receive the cross beam. Right Gare? Perfect! Perfection! That's what, what we came for here at So what I, the reason why I have the sledgehammer there, is that bolt too high? I can't tell. Not anymore. <laughs> Do we have that little level? Yeah, that would be nice. Because we want to level that, uh, that block.
All right, we're trying a four by six beam across the top. Um, we're having one problem. It would be nice if our footers had like a whole week to set, putting the braces in the brackets. They're wiggling some, but hopefully we can make do. And we're giving uh, our first four by six beam a try. All right, Stephen and I are measuring our last few um, posts where we have this set to a known length and what we do is Stephen lifts his stick until the audio indicator tells us it's right on. Fourteen inches. So we know we cut this post exactly 14 inches and it'll be level with all the others. Did we already do that one? Because I have 14 inches written down. Oh, I guess we did. Cut all the posts, Gary's finishing hammering them in, and um, we're about to break for lunch. And I've got to buy some more supplies. Um, one of the four, the longest four by six I got, it was twisted so bad, we just have to go get another one. Um, so hopefully, I can find that without having to drive very far. But we're looking good, unless Gary thinks we're not looking good. I always look good. <laughs> We're starting to run beams and Gare is bracing them all up. Yes sir. I don't know what to say other than that because he knows what he's doing and I don't. <laughs> and I always look good. <laughs> We're talking a lot about how good you look today. I was today. actually told by my wife that she couldn't believe I spent half the day with my hair the way it was this morning. Which way was it? Bedhead. Is that gel in your hair? So I did my hair. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> so now I look even better. <laughs> <laughs> and you changed your shirt. That's not the shirt you started with this morning. It's hot now. I took what? my outside shirt off. What's going on here? What a vanity guy over here. <laughs> what a, as long as you look good, Jarvis, everything's yeah. cool. Hey Tyler, thank you for all of your help today. <laughs> Alright, day two is done earlier than yesterday. It's just after five. And we have all the posts and beams up. So as we're walking this way, you can see the posts are higher. The beams look like they're way up, but that's because we're on a sloped site. So the platform itself, the surface of all these beams is level. And the posts are different heights to get us there. So tomorrow it calls for a bunch of rain, but we're going to try to get some stuff done. We're going to go buy insulation and materials to be able to put insulation between these. We've got to do um, exterior blocking or fascia around the sides. And then we receive the um, 2x6 tongue and groove flooring 
which will go over the top of all of this on Thursday morning. So we're moving really well and I think by the end of this week while we have Gare and his family here helping we'll have a, a platform with flooring on top done. What do you think Tana? It's going great. I'm a little worried about the rain coming. Yeah? Mm -hmm. It's going to rain. Cool. Ooh.